Welcome to Tiger Tutorials. Today we're going to go over the University of Waterloo Sorting Scramble section number two extra practice uh, problem. Uh, this problem has uh, been a special request and it is a stooge sort problem actually. Uh, using the stooge, the stooge sort uh, algorithm, uh, this, this problem is the basis of that. Uh, so if we just look at how this is done, uh, we can get, get a better perspective. So the stooge, the stooge sort says that sort the initial two-thirds of the list, sort the final two-thirds of the list, and then the initial two-thirds of the list again. So using that concept, and here, here's a nice little uh, image of the stooge sort working. Uh, you can look at the algorithm. Go to Wikipedia and get, uh, search stooge sort. If we go back to the problem here, uh, using that uh, ideology, we can then take temp max x y, and that's uh, a good a good value because if if we override x uh, immediately, then the x value would be uh, taken by by possibly y, meaning uh, the x value because you need to maintain both the x y and z values. And if I automatically set x to a possibility of y, then that x value has already been overwritten, and there's only two values left. So that's a, that's a problem. So no matter what, we have to use the temporary uh, value first. Next is actually the x equals m minimum of x and y, meaning uh, temp is going to take the maximum of either x or y, whichever one's maximum. Then x is going to take the minimum of x or y. So the minimum and maximum have been split between temporary and x. Y is going to take the, take the temporary, which is going to be the maximum between x and y. Uh, and if we look at this, we want y to be the next smallest value, z the largest, and x the smallest. So then the, uh, and also if you hit click for a hint, it says uh, x, y, y, z, and x, y. And that's kind of what led me to believe that this was, was the stooge sort uh, algorithm. So uh, next is uh, temp uh, max yx, and that is right there already. And uh, y equals min yz. I mean, uh, sorry, I said yx. I, I mean, I meant yz. Uh, so temporary max yz, y equals minimum yz. So that there's a there's a pattern here of maximum minimum and then splitting both the maximum and minimum values uh, apart and then setting temporary and then the y or the x or the z to its own value. So we grab the maximum of either y or z, set that to, tempor set that to temporary, then we set the minimum of y or z to y, and y has to be the next smallest value. And uh, then at the very end of all this we have to set z equals to temporary, meaning uh, z is going to take the largest value between uh, y and z. The next item is temporary, setting max, setting the temporary, the next temporary variable to uh, the maximum x or y, so we repeat this process again, and uh, this has already been sorted correctly, so x mono, so basically these, these two steps are uh, exactly identical. And this middle part is, is just the only uh, one that is not identical. So if we hit run program, we can see that they've tested all the x, y, and z uh, values correctly. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Please go to TigerTutorials.com and thank you for watching this tutorial.